I'm sorry that I can only be with you today in spirit. Uh, the Occupy movements have been a remarkable success. Uh, they've changed the national discourse. They've introduced crucial concerns that had been hidden uh, into public view. Uh, not least, they've created uh, communities of uh, mutual support and solidarity. There's something extremely important in an atomized society like this. In fact, one sign of their success is the nature of the repression. It's pretty clearly coordinated, some places quite harsh and vicious, an indication of success and concern. Uh, naturally, we have to resist the repression, uh, support and defend uh, those who are its victims. Uh, but there are some things that uh, we all know in our bones, uh, almost too obvious to repeat. Uh, uh, power systems don't just uh, uh, quietly uh, fold their tents and go away uh, saying thank you. Uh, they try to preserve their power by whatever means they can. Uh, so repression is uh, inevitable. And the best way to defend oneself against repression is to move forward. Uh, in this case, that means to uh, engage the 99%, uh, not just as observers or uh, sympathizers, but as direct participants in a project of uh, historic importance. First, to reverse the uh, shameful and destructive course of the past several decades, and then to move onward to developing the kind of society and here and in the world, with the cooperation of plenty others of others around the world, uh, that uh, uh, can be the, the basis for a decent human existence. That's a hard task. It's not going to be accomplished quickly. Uh, it's going to take a lot of uh, long-term dedicated effort with uh, uh, regression, progress, uh, and requires serious commitment. Now, that's a hard but essential task. And uh, you're the people who's, uh, uh, who are responsible and able to carry it out. So that's a, a historic mission. And I can only admire you from being at the forefront of it.